What's up, YouTube? This is Larry. I'm a full-time reseller and I have been since 1997 on eBay. And what I do is I show you everything that I sell. That way you can go out, you can find things, you can make extra money, you can make it full-time living like I do. But maybe you learned something by watching the channel. Please go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. That way you can see all my videos. Hey, let's see what we sold this week. We sold a Jason... No, Thomas. Thomas Middlevich is his name. He's one of my favorite actors. He's a guy you might not know by name, but you probably know him by face. Took me a while to know his name, but I always like him and everything he does. He's a good actor. He's gonna be here somewhere. There it is, I just saw it. Right there. You've probably seen that guy in something. I can't remember what he's been in offhand. Uh, we sold this for $12.99. We had $2.99 in it, I think. We also sold uh, Eric Roberts. We had $4.99 in this, and we sold it for, I think, $13.99. Alright, we sold him a new Bennett. Hopefully we have the one we sold. There it is. I think this is from Arrow. We sold this, I think, for $13.99. We had $4.99 in it. We sold a Godzilla. And it is not this one. Uh, which one was it? There it is. Got a few Godzillas. We got this one at Ranks. It was $3.00. And it's a double one. I think it's this one. I'm gonna have to double check. We sold it for $34.99. I paid three bucks for it. We sold a DVD called Chuka. See, it's just DVDs I never heard of. I just look up. I never heard of this one. It's an old time movie. Paid a dollar for it, and we sold it for 14 bucks. You guys might recall I bought those 450 t-shirts for like $150 at Goodwill last year. If you go and look at my most watched videos, it's like number four. These were four shirts that were brand new, but they were stained up from like storage or something. But you know what? We sold these four shirts, and we still got $59 for them, even damaged. These Ringer shirts do really well. Made in USA, single stitch. They're from the 80s. And we sold almost all these underwear. We're down to like one pack of underwear. We bought these. They've been opened, but I don't think they've ever really been out of the packs. They still like they're, look like they're folded pretty well. Uh, these are from the 90s. I paid $3.99 for them, and I got $59 bucks for them. $59 for some underwear. That's crazy. We sold these tactical pants up here. Hopefully these, I had some problems with, I bought like three pairs of them. And for some reason, a couple of the pairs had like, look like they were blood stains or something, like inside. These might be the ones that are okay. Let me look at these. Like I said, they were still, they were all new with tags. Okay, now I'm only seeing one of them with the problem. See, this was one I sold and it came back returned because it looks like there's blood stains in there. I don't know what the heck that is. But there's, you know, they had tags still on them. But I don't know what that is. But these other two are fine, I guess. I didn't see anything. Do not see anything on these. So we'll send those off. Paid like $5 a pair. Uh, we sold this one for $41.99. Bill Gaither? I'm not sure where I would have put that. Hmm. It's one of those Christian... Music DVDs. I'm 
I'm not seeing it like a gospel thing. I put it there. There it is. I was kind of worried. I didn't know where I put it. We picked this up at the thrift store for a dollar. Sold it for eleven nineteen. It must be the day of gospel because we sold a, a gospel CD also. Never heard of these guys. It was sealed. And I think we paid like 50 cents for it at Peddler's Junction and we sold it for $11.99. Sold a, another Wolves. We sold one of these a couple weeks ago. We bought these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar a piece. This is the second we've sold in two weeks for uh, $21.99. It's got Jason Momoa in it. Aquaman. So that's probably why it's selling. All right, we sold a... James Harrison jersey. I don't know if it's even in here. Yeah, it was buried in there. James Harrison, we bought this at a Goodwill on that trip. We took the State College, Pennsylvania. It's about five and a half hours from my house. We were just begging for stuff to buy. We couldn't find anything that day. And we overpaid for this, I think. We probably paid six or seven dollars for it just to get something to sell. And we sold this for $34.99, so we did alright on it. We sold a DVD called Cheerleader Camp. I knew this was an out-of-print one. It's got Betsy Russell, Leif Garrett, Lucinda Dickey. This is out of print, hard to find. This was sold for $34.99. We paid $3 for it at Rinks. My hair is, is jacked up. We've been working on the store all day today. Uh, we brought in all those DVDs that were on the shelves. We brought all the, almost all those in the house. Now we have A through T still left to do, but all the other sections, the games and the horror section and the action section, drama section, all that stuff's taken care of. So I'm about halfway done. But that's everything we sold this weekend. Like I said, please hit the bell. Please like. Please comment. Like I said, hopefully I help you guys with some stuff. Can't believe we sold that underwear for so much money. Like I said, we didn't make a lot of sales, but we made pretty good money on stuff. Like I always stress, ROI, return on investment. You want to get as much return on investment as you can. If you, you want to pay a dollar for something, you want to make like $10 for it. You want to do like 10 times your money. Thanks, guys. Peace.